this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Alright, today we're going to look at what's in this white box. What is it? This is possibly the easiest curtain controller you've ever seen. Alright, so what are we going to do? We're going to open this box. We're going to see what's inside. We're going to check this puppy out. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out the Zemi Smart Curtain Controller. Easiest one you've ever seen. There you go. Okay, people, now it's time for another edition of What's in the Box? What's in the Box? What's in the Box? The box is plain. Nothing on it. Let's open the box. Cue the music, Phil. Smart Curtain Motor M027. We have rechargeable batteries. We have different odds and ends. Many, many different odds and ends. Right here, look at that. There's a left side, a right side, a remote control. A little control box and the motor itself right here as you can see these odds and ends they click on to the side such as that and there are different styles here we have the ring style clicks on the box like that and then on this we have the T style for different types of curtain rods. Isn't that cool? We have the same thing repeated underneath. So there's two sides to your curtains. So what do we have here? We have different styles along with a remote control, a transmitter, Two of these for the curtains. You have the rod style that runs across the rod. Two of those along with two T's. So, and then that is repeated in the rest of the box right here. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna hook these puppies up and we're gonna see how they work. Okay, so we now have the Zemi Smart uh, roller motors right here. They're the Smart Curtain motors. Um, and then we have all the components in front of us. Uh, so we're gonna look at some of the components. Now I'm gonna put it on a round uh, rod. So we're gonna use the round rod piece here, which is good. Um, but you can also have multiple different types of rods. You have a track rod right here. And then you have the uh, T-rod, which comes down here. And you would uh, have a piece of metal that goes through there. And that rolls on that piece of metal. Alright, so what came in it? You have the three different versions of curtain connectors. You can see them right there. Three different versions. All right. You have the two different motors. One goes on each side and they control this way. Uh, on the bottom here, as you can see, each has a set of wheels that then rubs or work, rolls across the bottom of the rod right there. So when you put one of these on here, you'll see that this connects to the rod and then the rod then goes through it. So that's the setup. It's so easy, even a caveman can do it. So it's super easy. I'm getting that adjusted right there. All right. And on the back is where your batteries go into it. They're 800 milliamp, 3.75 volt batteries. So then you take these two batteries and you're going to place them inside of, of course, the back side of this, like so. And 
and then lock it down. On the bottom, you're going to notice that there is a micro USB, so you can recharge it through the micro USB. They did not provide a micro USB cable, but you can see that. You can see there's a blue light right there and some type of sensor right there. So the micro, the blue light, all that's right there. There's no power on or power off switch. And as you can see here, this locks into here. So they have this little bracket here. It locks in right there. So when you want to put it onto your rod, it's as easy as moving this out and then putting it over to the rod. So there you go. That's the first one set up. It also has this little hook on the bottom for some reason. Right there. So you're going to set up both of these the same exact way. You'll put your rod in, rod rings in. Now, depending on how you want to put them in, here's your rod rings just like that and then back to the battery again you put your batteries in and put your back on so there's your batteries and as you can see on this one there is a micro USB again, a blue light, and then some type of sensor. All right, so now we've got these both together. This is the way that we're gonna use them. They're gonna go onto the curtain rod such as this. This little guy here is the brains of the operation right here. He will be plugged in and with this guy right here, you will be able to control him via Wi-Fi. Um, very much similar to the roller uh, blind motor that I have been using to open and close my curtains too. Um, but that one's attached to a string cord curtain. But this doesn't need any cords. Don't need to do any fancy spancy stuff. These just hang on the rod and from there, it's controllable by the remote control and or Wi-Fi, just like that. And then you have multiple options for them. As I said, you can use the T channel or you can use the U channel, which the T then goes into the U channel, like that. These look like it's gonna be the easiest install I have ever done for a set of curtains to open and close them. The only thing you got to remember is which motor goes to which side. There you go. Now, I'm going to also say excuse my mess when you see my loft. I'm reflooring one of the bedrooms now. We've refloored the loft. We have two more uh, spare bedrooms to go. Um, and I'll be done until I get to the master bedroom. So I'm reflooring. So everything in one of my spare bedrooms is now shoved into my loft, which is supposed to be our movie room. We're going to put a projector up there and be able to watch movies. One reason why we need curtains, to darken the room. So we'll go hook these up and then we'll uh, check out the application. Okay. So here are the Zemi Smart motors. This one we have facing forward, this one we have facing backwards. The reason for that is because of the way the motors work. So if we hit open, they move to their perspective places. All right, so that would open the curtains this way. Now, each of these motors can be opened to move a curtain to one side or another. So now we're gonna close them. All 
and they would reach to achieve their area for closing. All right, in order to set these, you have your little remote here. You'll notice this little guy right here. So if I want to set the limits of how close or how far it goes, I press this button here. Okay. Let's see if I want it to be all the way over. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull this down and move it up to the position that I want it to close at. So now they're in the position that I want. So I'm going to set my limit by hitting this button here, right there, this guy here. And then I'm going to hit open. And then when it gets to the area that I want it to be at, I'll hit stop. Now I want to set the limit for the close. So again, I'm going to hit this button again. And then I'm going to hit close. Okay, so now that we've set the limits on the motors, so each time that you hit the motor to open, it should stop at the position that you initially stopped it at. And it did. And when you come back to hit this to close, hit the right button when we hit the close right here the motors will come back and stop at their set position very cool all right so now we've already hooked up the smart curtain motors up to the curtain rod up in the loft um that's where we're going to set up our projector so we can have kind of like a movie experience but we want now that most of my kids are grown we're just with my youngest one we want to set it up as like a movie room we'll put movie paraphernalia in there we'll have uh, a projector but now that we have everything hooked up uh, up in the loft on the curtain rod we have the two motors one forward facing one backwards facing so they can move this way and this way um, we are now going to use the module right here this little guy right here there this is the Wi-Fi module that connects to the curtain motors and those are the M027 Zemi smart curtain motors that this controls. You should have one of these little power blocks laying around or you can just use the one that is on your smart switch like that. Uh, but pretty much a standard power block, any one of these will be suitable to control the curtains. So on the front of this you see there is a flashing Wi-Fi light right there. So from here we're going to go into the Smart Life app. We still have a flashing light on the front, so we're going to hit plus. And we're going to find what we want to control. So I believe that's going to go under small appliance. And we're going to do curtain. Just plain ordinary curtain. We're going to select curtain. Uh, we're then going to go to the next area. And we're going to make sure that we still have a flashing light we do uh, confirm it's blinking rapidly there we go it looks like it's blinking rapidly so then we're going to hit next and we're going to search it 
found it. There we go. The uh, module has been found by the Smart Life app. And it currently has it listed as electric curtain. Um, very cool. So we're going to change this to loft curtain. And I always pronounce it curtain, so I'm going to put an S to it. And we're going to put that into the loft. We're going to hit done. Um, we can now go upstairs and take a look and see how the module um, controls the curtains. Okay, so I brought everything upstairs. We have the module upstairs now plugged in. And we now have the motors. I had to take the motors and unpair them from the remote and pair them to the module. That's what I needed to do. Uh, when you do that, you are going to have the motors again at the leftmost for the application. And then you go into the more button and make sure you enable logic distance okay you're going to enable the logic distance turn it green once you've done that you'll go back over to the application or back out and go back in and then you will hit the close button for the motors and it will then run the motor to the center of the Thing, and you try to stop at the closest spot that you want. So now you've just set the distance from the open position to the closed position. From there, you'll go to the next area and you will hit the open position again. After you hit the open position, you will then wait till it gets to the furthest most point that you want and you'll hit stop and then once you've hit stop you have now set the limits so when you use the application again all you're going to need to do from that point it will then of course go in here and it automatically closes off logic curtain dis distance so it closes it off at that point in time and then from there, your limits will be set, so you will just have to then hit close. Or then you will hit open. Easy peasy, fresh and squeezy. The advantage between the application and the remote control. So on the application, your advantage is if I do not want to open the curtains in the full position of open, I can now go and just bring it to a quarter position and it will stop with the curtain still being slightly open or I can back it up a little bit so you are you have more adjustability in the application than you do the remote control so you can close open and partially set different points just by sliding the bar in the application that's it that's all it takes that is super easy and you get more advantages so if you only want the window to be partially exposed you can do that um, other uh, advantage to the application is you get Alexa voice services so now we're going to test that out all right so we got the curtains from Amazon. There they are. Um, 
We got the box on the rods. Turn on loft curtains. Okay. Turn off loft curtains. Okay. And there you go. All right, so now you got to see the Zemi Smart Smart Curtain Motors in action. That's the M027 Smart Curtain Motors. Uh, overall, let's talk about it. Now, I broke the video down into multiple sections uh, for two reasons. One, if you want to pair it to the remote control, you can do that. That gives you the ability to use this little remote control to open and close the curtains it doesn't have to go on Wi-Fi. It doesn't have to do anything of such nature. Uh, this is an RF remote control along with the module that you can use to connect it to the internet. The module is still an RF remote control. It's just now put into the application. Um, once you've paired it to this, you go about your business and you don't need to do anything else. But if you want to use the module to get further uh, control over those curtains and using the smart life app then you would go and use the module now you'll have to find some type of sort power source such as a power block or your power strip but remember it is an rf it doesn't necessarily have to be directly in front of the curtain itself um, but that gives you more control over the curtains where you can open them all the way you can open them partially, you can close them partially. You have a lot of different option, options with that. And it also gives you Alexa voice services, um, and that's pretty cool. Uh, now, the voice services commands are pretty simple. It's either on or off. So if you say on, it opens up. If you say off, it closes. Now, you can change that through routines. I didn't go through that because I was getting long in the tooth in the uh, video, but it's real simple. You go into routines and then you put the command you want it to be, and then that is new, the new command. Easy, peasy, fresh and squeezy. Um, you can also go into schedules. You can schedule the curtains to open at a particular point in time. You can schedule the curtains to close at a particular point in time. All within the app, like many of these Emmy Smart products, just like my Zemi Smart roller uh, curtains that I have in my family room and just like the curtains that I have in my living room that are controlled by the blind curtain motor. Um, and you can see those videos up here. Zemi Smart is going to have a sale on 1111. Um, a it's going to be on AliExpress. You'll see further discounts there. I'll put a link below where you can find it. Uh, overall, this was the easiest uh, curtain setup I have done on this channel. Uh, you just put these on the ring, make sure that everything is good, you go through and set the limits, and you're good to go, either using the remote control or using the module. Other than that, this is an awesome product. It's a little more noisy than my other two. The other two are very quiet. Uh, you can hear these, but as I said, for the purpose of using the curtains that we wanted to use in there, these are perfect. We wanted it on the round rod. We wanted the large drapes looking, uh, so that worked very well. Um, so if you're interested in this product, I put a link below where you can find it, along with all the 1111 sale information. This is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. And I will see you soon. See you soon.